and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. No, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week, Scorpio. But Scorpio, I also do your weekly you versus them tarot reading for you and your person, Scorpio, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like, Scorpio. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, my beautiful Scorpio, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate with you and leave what doesn't because i promise you scorpio i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever right so scorpio if you do find some cards that resonate you guys get two okay if you guys do find some cards that resonate with you um be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do because that's how i keep up with y'all is through the comments right and also i'd really appreciate it my beautiful scorpio if you were to take the extra time to give my vid video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot channel a lot and i always am super appreciative when you take that extra time to do that for me to support me um and uh, yeah scorpio before i get into this reading i just want to remind you that i don't feel like any tarot reading especially mine at least should be making a decision in your life because put it in perspective scorpio as well lots of perspective honey um it's your life to live not mine not the tarot cards not anybody else's so i feel like tarot cards should be here tarot reading should be here to give some perspective of food for thought something to consider as you go throughout your days but it should never be making a decision in your life a choice in your life so uh, with all that being said, Scorpio, you get the message now. Let's get into your reading with this general spread at first, and then we'll get into some deep. Uh, we'll dive right in. So uh, the center, the heart of this energy, the heart of the spread for this week is the Spear of Cups. So the Spear of Cups is, I'm pretty sure, the... Um, Honey, what is the Spirit of Cups? This is the new tarot deck <laughs> that I got, and I haven't really quite dove in too deep with it. I know it's not the Ace. I know it's not the Page. So what is the Spirit? Oh, and you know what? The Spirit might be um, the Knight, actually. Yeah, I think that's what it is. <laughs> I'm reading y'all's cards, and I don't even know the de the meaning of the deck. Like, what the cards are, honey. I promise you, it's just this one, done. I haven't gotten a chance to work with it enough, Scorpio. But um, it's actually a beautiful Scorpio. My um, One of my closest friends gave me this deck. No one asked about this, Falco. What does it mean? <laughs> Spirit of Cups is talking about opportunity being presented to you. This is, especially with this, di this dynamic... I can't help but feel like the opportunity presented to you is not really something that's actually presented to you, but more so like you set your life up in such a way that you get this opportunity. So I guess in some case, like from the outside point of view, probably Scorpio, people are seeing this as being like, wow, Scorpio, you really just got like such a blessing. You really just got like such an insane like opportunity or offer. When in actuality, you're just sitting over in the back, Scorpio, and just being like, honey, like if only you knew how hard I was working for it. If only you knew how calculated, like I feel like that's the thing. I keep on hearing calculated, Scorpio. It's almost like you've been planning something to turn out in such a way for a long time now and um we'll get into that we'll get into my thoughts on that scorpio <laughs> let's get into the actual animal oracle cards before we continue though um we have the scarab beetle number 52 equaling to seven for you my beautiful scorpio and this card says magic works through you this is part of the reason why i said that i feel like you're the one that creates this opportunity scorpio because it's like the magic what something that seems is seemingly so magical in this opportunity is because it's like you're the one like you're like the magician essentially right very much i wouldn't be surprised if we get the magician in this car uh in your reading today um but yeah i feel like you're the one that you just like i'm seeing like <laughs> I'm sharing like what I see in my head now and I just acknowledge like how crazy I probably sound Scorpio but um I'm being shown like a vision of um like someone's hands getting like really dirty or muddy and I'm taking that as a sign as like you guys really like work in like in the trenches of this really like working hard at this getting your hands dirty and then we have the lizard lizard the lizard <laughs> spirit Scorpio which says dream the world into being number 38 and I correct me if I'm wrong Scorpio but I'm pretty sure you guys got this card before uh regardless 11 the uh, number 11 so this is definitely you know if you know 11 um it is like wish fulfillment card it's like a wish being granted so 
And if you were to like con- uh, correlate with the the cards that we have so far, Scorpio, it's like you're finally taking a lot more action into fulfilling your own wish. Almost, it's like <laughs> I really enjoy this dynamic personally, uh, Scorpio, just because it's like it's so often we'll get people. I'll I say we. I'll see people who just kind of expect things to be just like come to them, right? They don't want to put any work into it, and it's just like for you Scorpio it's like you're like you see this you're it's like you see like the lottery and you see everyone else like buying their lottery tickets and you're just like standing there watching them all and you're just like well that's stupid I will just like make that 300 million myself and you genuinely believe that you're gonna make that 300 million yourself without any issue you genuinely believe it'd be easier for you to just do it yourself rather than rely on chance like you're just really getting taking an active role in that um which i just love scorpio like oh my gosh let me in on that let me in on that energy honey one card came flying three of these want to come out honey y'all are getting greedy (laughs) y'all got two different animal spirit cards did i tell you the numbers to write down seven and eleven seven eleven honey that's the gas station in america um don't mind me i've been feeling silly today scorpio um but yeah write those down to look at the numerology later for him i should really do a numerology video for each one so i can just be like at this video for like whatever y'all don't care (laughs) so the three extra cards that came out as well four of pentacles seven of pentacles and the judgment card so yes cancer cancer this i just ruined my whole vibe i was so excited for a moment scorpio until i like missaid your name it's kind of like those relationships when you actually accidentally say the ex's name i'm like oh <laughs> with what well, the reason why i'm so excited about this scorpio is because this is this three here this trio is literally what i was just saying you can even look up the cards themselves so you know i'm not just like tooting my own horn um four pentacles is talking about waiting to make the proper investments into something you've been holding out your pentacles for the right moment um seven of uh pentacles lets me know of um again like this is like literally scorpio you go to any tarot reader and they'll refer to this as like a harvest they'll refer to this as like the farm hand because it's like they i think there's a hoe i mean there's already a hoe in this video and it's not in this card but um you see that i think it's like a gardening tool or something like literally getting your hands dirty so um i see like and just with the judgment card as well you're getting your hands dirty to get a very bountiful harvest it's like you almost scorpio it's almost like you identified what it is that you need to put your pentacles in and now you're waiting for this moment probably was for a while probably haven't really taken too much action in a while scorpio but something really caught your eye that you're throwing your pentacles at so it's beautiful you're getting your hands dirty for so i like that a lot but keep in mind i did say that you guys have some type of like plan for how things are going to pan out scorpio and i did say i wanted to put a pin on that to address it later and so i guess this is where we get into that part honey um for my scorpios i've been pretty rough with you guys for the past couple of weeks and years well i haven't been i'm not the one choosing these cards take away the responsibility from me um but this is definitely much lighter reading but there's still some shifting that needs to happen scorpio i feel like you're being, some of you scorpios are being a little bit stubborn um with some making some adjustments still because you're so <sighs> convinced that something's going to pan out in the exact detail to the period to the t of how you think it's going to be and you won't accept anything else and that's fine and dandy but i don't think it's going to be that it's not it's just spoiler alert honey i don't think that it's gonna happen in the exact down to the t i feel like it's gonna be a little bit of variation that you need to be you know there's a quote which you know i'm sure not a lot of people are going to resonate with on my channel especially since um I know a lot of you guys are into like my occult videos and stuff, but there's a quote that I love is where it's something along the lines of leave, leave some room, leave some room for God to work through or something along those lines, make some space for God to work or something along those lines. So don't essentially what that means is don't be too rigid in your plan, because if you're too rigid, then it's. I mean, there's a list of reasons as to why you wouldn't want to be rigid. And I just don't want to, like, spend the next 10 minutes doing that because this is already a long general spread. But um, just be a little bit more open, I guess, Cancer. (laughs) I just did Cancer Scorpio reading right before yours, so I apologize. But this is for you, Scorpio. I just say y'all's name so much. (laughs) 
Um, so on the continuing on with the tarot, we have the five of fire or the five of wands. And this card, I'm going to read off these cards so you just, you, you yourself can like understand why I'm saying what I'm saying, Scorpio. This card says competing goals, bothersome details and conflict with others. I feel like this is what we're talking about where it's just like there might still be a little bit of, um, conflict or just like, uh, like the goals that you have are like competing with the goals the spirit has for you and like the plan that they want to take you on um that would still get you to the same result if not better and it's kind of like a little bit of clashing of energies page of air comes in talking about challenging informations delays or changes to plans honey truth delivered without tact so this i mean i feel like i'm that part where i'm being truth delivered without tact honey there needs to be some tough love and uh scorpio and just being more malleable allow some more shifts in your life i don't know i just constantly i want to say scorpio i don't feel like you're in the you're making necessarily the wrong choices like i feel like you're on the right track this ace of earth or ace of pentacles talking about in the inflow of abundance this is uh this is such a profitable card i just feel like there's just a little bit too rigid too much rigidness i feel like you should be a little bit more free-flowing while you're going right driving down the highway don't just stay on the right side of the lane you can go to the other lanes as well have a little bit of fun consider you know look around even though you you plan on going on exit 35 and taking the exit on 35 or rather look at the other exits maybe they're like you know there's that you're going you're wanting to go on exit 35 because there's like a dairy queen or something but if you look down the other exits right even though you have your mind on dairy queen you might see something why did i choose dairy queen <laughs> like something better that's cheaper right that you would be like you didn't consider but then because you're paying attention you'd be like oh yeah that does sound nice right so uh then we have the page you know we already did that one we just did that one actually then we have the strength card coming in 11 again following you so really such a uh bountiful week for you it's such good energy overall um scorpio but this is great inner strength release harsh judgment again i just feel i'm not going to repeat myself really i feel like that kind of just hones in on the same messages that i was saying before scorpio where it's like i feel like that's the if you're going to identify anything being a blockage in your life scorpio i would say the blockage in your life is the, the rigidness that you might have in regards to something or just like your mindset in regards to something and how you want something to be so we'll leave it at that scorpio because i don't want to continue on like rambling because i feel like you get the point um now let's get into my scorpio's uh row for their career and their financial situation and through tarot cards um we have the eight of swords coming in with the four pentacles again um and then the nine of cups so you know i use i feel like this is kind of like reminiscent of your first general spread uh scorpio because it's like the four of pentacles you've been stuck in you haven't been you probably have felt stuck um with this eight of swords because you've just been waiting for the right thing to i'm sorry uh just air when i get talking a lot you've been waiting for the right thing the right opportunity the right moment to invest your pentacles into something and really i just keep on hearing you like all out so like you're probably like going all out now i know for some of you scorpios you've been using work already as a coping mechanism so i do want to address my scorpios that were receiving my readings in the past scorpio i do want to say it's i don't want to say it's fine to use it as a coping mechanism well one it's not my business what you do i guess but um if you're going to use it as a coping mechanism scorpio um don't be so tunnel visioned i guess is all i'm gonna say uh nine of cups you are going to have like this is like a nice you are you do end up finding the proper thing if you haven't already find the proper thing to put your pentacles in let's get some clarifiers though are we taking all of these honey i guess we are uh <laughs> so the clarifiers that we have for you scorpio is the eight of cups and the ace of wands coming in i feel like these two come together um this is like the eight of cups is the representation of going to bigger and better waters moving on from something and the ace of wands comes in so i know for some of you scorpios especially last week i think it was where it's just like a suggestion to go back to the drawing board I feel like you went back to the drawing board and you're almost like putting a, you know, as I was trying to imply last week, is like putting a pin on a project and being like, okay, like this isn't working out in this way right now. Let's stop trying to force it to happen in this moment and let's go see if there's another way around, 
right? I feel like there's definitely some compromises that Scorpio is making, which I enjoy because this Eight of Pentacles comes in with the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So for my Scorpios that did go back to the drawing board, that do decide to be a little bit more malleable in how they want their, in how their life will be and like what, like the manifestation and opportunities, right? They're just a little bit more free flowing. That's when the victory comes, right? If you learn, if you've been receptive in like the lessons rather than um, just trying to ignore it and continue doing the same thing, expecting different results, then Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands comes in, that victory card where you're able to feel extremely uh, self-sustained. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is the card that is like, notice with the Four of Pentacles as well, like all these energies that you've been getting, well, yes, this is all passion-based for you, Scorpio, you have such... You keep on getting cards that are such a have such a calmness to them, such a serenity to them. This woman, she knows where she's going to be putting her pentacles. This woman here, she knows like she's at peace. She's around just with herself. She's fully relaxed. This individual here, they're focused just on their goal. Like all your cards are like very like serene, very much so. I don't know, Scorpio. I just get this sense that. Just be a little bit kinder to yourself and don't, I don't know, there's just like a little bit of critical nature, I feel like, that we're getting into. But I guess we'll just like close that off because I don't want, I feel like I, I'm getting an urge to like pull some cards on something that I'm like tapping into, but I'll resist the urge. Uh, but now, Scorpio, we'll be getting into your social situations for this week. For my Scorpios that are interested in hearing the tarot cards insight on their social situations. So... We have the Devil card, the World card, as well as the Ace of Pentacles. Let's get... Hmm. Scorpio, I'm going to be honest here. I think I need to pull some clarifiers before I say anything, because this could be in a multitude of ways. All right, let's see. Let's look at these clarifiers. Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and then what was this one? Three of Pentacles. Okay. Scorpio, I can't help but get this feeling that you recently have made amends with somebody or you have the intentions to make amends with somebody. Um, I'm going to probably say intentions more so than anything because with this devil card, this, okay, let me explain from my perspective why I was kind of thrown off is because with this devil card, I'm just like, I was like, okay, like there's not really the best card that you want to see when it comes to social situation because this devil, I mean, it sounds super aggressive and negative, but I kind of see this person as some i mean it's not a pleasurable card even with my optimistic self i can't pretend to like this devil card is like a really wonderful thing like you maybe there's like a little bit of distance between y'all two or maybe there just was like a not able to fully connect because there's no conflict right i don't feel like it's a conflict i feel like you guys just weren't connecting that well before but there was potential in you guys clicking and i feel like you, both of you guys felt it um, again, I'm not, I really want to emphasize it's not having to do with like something romantic. I mean, it could be for some of you Scorpios, but the majority of you guys, I don't feel like it's romantic because we're not, I'm not seeing any extra, there's no cups cards or anything like that. It's kind of all about, I mean, honestly, it seems like business for a lot of you guys, but just in general, it just seems like a very neutral, just like stable energy. Um, but regardless, you guys were just, um, it's probably like on paper, you guys seemed like you would click really well. And it just didn't for some reason for some period of time. Uh, Page of Swords with the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles, because someone like y'all didn't click, someone felt left out in the cold, right? With the Five of Pentacles, feeling probably pretty anxious about the situation. Someone just felt neglected in a sense. Um, and now I don't know what changes about this, but some at some point either like communication yeah i feel like communication ends up happening three of pentacles and page of swords i'm not i'm gonna be honest here scorpio i don't feel like an elephant is addressed though like i don't feel like someone even talks about being like talks about the devil in the room right i don't feel like anyone talks about it anyone addresses it i feel like everyone just kind of like pushes it in the past and then just like go back to business like usual with the three of pentacles and just continue like it's like you guys just put everything in the past and you just like Go back to how things used to be. Something I'm just hearing. Interesting, though. 
Um, I would love to hear about what that's about for some, you Scorpios that would feel like sharing. Um, <laughs> but let's get into your final row now. My beautiful Scorpio with the tarot cards. Let's just see uh, the insight that they have real quick to round this reading out. Four Swords, the Sun card, and the Hermit card. So a lot of healing. A lot of healing, Scorpio. I feel like and especially with this, I feel like the best way to get to your success, the sun moment, all encompassing. So regardless is relationship, work, and what have you, the best way to get to the sun moment is hermiting and self-reflecting, healing. Um, you know, this could definitely be, I mean, I'm just, I mean, didn't you have this? Yeah, you did have the strength card. And I always call this the shadow work card. Scorpio definitely, it just seems like um, you kind of just have like an, honest conversation with yourself or it's just like you just have such a i feel a lot less cynical nature in this energy if i'm going to be blunt scorpio like it feels like for a while scorpio you guys have had a pretty cynical nature about the world about people um about situations and i feel like i can't dare i say scorpio you guys are i'm starting to get like a little bit more optimism not to say that y'all are negative and pessimistic but i just feel like I feel like you guys are being lighter. I feel like you guys are becoming lighter because you're doing some shadow work. You're looking at the issues that you might have been having with yourself. And because the more you heal, the better the, your relationships and your situations outside of yourself improve. And that's beautiful, Scorpio. So yeah, that's the cards that I have for you, <laughs> Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I really do. Um, if you did enjoy this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my videos. Until next time, my beautiful Scorpio, I'll connect with you soon.